Wow. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in at the range now. And I've got my Para USA Expert 1911. I featured this last week. A lot of people liked it. More, more responses, more positive responses than I actually expected. And the one thing that makes this unique is that not only will it fire 45 ACP, but will also fire 45 Super and 450 SMC. It has an Ed Brown barrel, a 25 pound recoil spring, and a, a flattened firing pin safety. It's a, it's a beautiful stainless gun, approximately 10 years old. Thump safety is engaged. I, got, I have 45 ACP in here right now. We're gonna take a few shots, but I also was able to get some 45 Super. Very expensive, but that's okay. I, I had a lot of people tell me where I could find it, and Midway was the most popular place, and so that's where I got it. But let me go ahead and shoot these uh, regular ball ammo spear lawmen, 230 grade, 45 ACP. All right, it's a nice shooting handgun. No doubt about that. And that 25 pound recoil spring makes the, the slide a little heavier to charge. And that would make sense. Your average 1911 recoil spring is 16 pounds so this is 25 pounds and you know when i first took it out i didn't notice a great difference with the recoil but that time i did but what i have here is 45 super i don't know if you can see that but it's 45 super 230 grain traveling at 1100 feet per second it is made by underwood expensive but the the 170 grain was even more expensive i've got five rounds here now it looks the same as the 45 acp They are hollow points. They move faster. I explained it to be like a, a double plus P and this, these are my first shots with it. So we're going to check it out. I brought you guys along to see what the first shots are gonna be like. Um, I will say that the Ed Brown barrel is a $200 upgrade from the standard barrel that came with this Para USA Expert. It does have a fiber optic front sight there, two dot rear sight, and a beautiful looking 1911 but this is what i wanted to do check out 45 super so we'll go ahead and charge it and you can see if there is a difference in recoil i'll let you know my thoughts for sure whoa flinch okay i just flinched but i did engage the thumb safety there let me see if I'm missing the, I'm missing my target. And I did, I did feel a difference. And you know, the, the flinch I think happened because the recoil was greater. I held the sights the exact same place. So let me load up five more rounds and then we'll check out that 170 grain underwood ammo and see if there's a difference because that one is traveling even faster all right so here is the exact same ammo made by underwood 230 grain 45 super i'm gonna hold center target here see how i do man center target All right, so it held up in the mag. Let me see if I, and that looks like it chambered. It's a little bit bigger. And I missed it. But I can tell a difference. I can tell a big difference. I also have 
Well, that's not it. Here it is. 45 super, 170 grains. Now this is twice the price. Together, I had just under $80 here with 40 rounds of 45 super. And it is made by Underwood, you know. But this travels at 1,250 feet per second. And I'll go ahead and grab five rounds of this. I'm going to use this sparingly because I want to do more with this stuff. But this is brass case. All right, so a little bit of a difference there. I, I felt it, and I'm expecting to feel it here. These are also hollow points. You can see right there. Now, for people that want the versatility, which is what attracted me to this gun, was the versatility to, to do what we're doing right now. I found it to be something different, something unique, and something that you don't see every day. Let me go ahead and... Holding it, I have to hold that sight just a hair, a hair lower. I'm I'm holding that sight just a little bit lower than the 45 ACP, but now I have it. Here we have 45 Super, 170 grain, three rounds loaded up, and a milk jug to the right. This stuff is over two dollars a round. Well, let's see what it does to that milk jug filled up with water. I'm going to hold that a little bit lower. Wow. It will come over there. there we go. I, I now know where to hold. Just a little bit lower than 45 ACP. But I certainly enjoyed this. I have some more rounds here. I want to do some more, well, some range testing with it. But so far I figured out what I wanted to figure out. I wanted to know how much more recoil it had and I will say the 230 grain 45 super had a lot more recoil not as much with the 170 grain but it does travel at 1250 feet per second which is pretty significant for that large bullet if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe